Well, it's the sweetest time of the year and nothing says Halloween better than candy. But if healthy treat options are what you're looking for, you have definitely come to the right place. It's Kate, it's Phoenix, and it's Amber from Amber Approved. Amber, by the way, is a holistic nutritionist who's come up with some fantastic yeah. ideas. Ideas that are wrapped up these cute little cellophane packages. Do you have one for me? Yes. One for yeah. Kate? Yes, and I have I, some for... Kate's already eat, oh, no. She's already started attacking. I pulled mine apart because I wanted to see some of the stuff that was in here. So, bubbles. Tell yeah. us about these. So there's a lot of different non-food and still some treats that we can hand out for Halloween. So it's as easy as going to the dollar store. They have a lot of bulk pencils you can get that are Halloween style, erasers, bubbles. They have sticker pads so you can go and get things like that. Um, and just getting a variety of different fun things. There's even little eyeballs oh, and just like spooky things that we can get for kids to hand yeah, out. Oh, and that's messy. <laughs> well, yeah, it's supposed to be messy. It's Kids Halloween. love it, right? Oh, so, that. and the cool thing about this is it's not going to break the budget. A lot of these things I bought in bulk, and it was a dollar for mm -hmm. ten pencils and a dollar for ten erasers. Yeah. It's like a little surprise bag. Yeah, like, hey, surprise and it's exciting. Fun. It's fun. So this? you got little stuffies in here. These are actually two wide. Yeah, a dollar each. When I was a kid, these were hot. Commodities. Super cool, yeah. These are all natural chocolates. Yeah, so us. these are refined, sugar free, no dairy, no gluten. And so these you can mm. get at Community Natural Foods. And there's so there's. Minty. Yeah, they have mint, almond, oh, and regular delicious. dark chocolate. So oh. you can get those. And then they have these really cool gummies available as well. And these have no refined sugars. They use turmeric and natural fruits to dye them red and yellow and orange. So there's no artificial dyes as well. Where are you finding so this? Community Natural Foods, you can get both the chocolate sorry, and one? the gummies. Community Natural Community Foods. Community Natural yeah. Foods, where is that? So they have a location downtown, they have a location in Crowfoot, and they have one by Chinook Mall. So um, I found these uh, at the Crowfoot location, but mm -hmm. they had them downtown as well. They also had suckers and lollipops and some other things available. So there are some alternatives as well if you are handing out candy and you want to pick something that's a bit healthier. And um, let's be honest, most of these kids are not going to read the label. It says organic yeah. on top, but they don't care. It could be like exactly. me. They're just going to be just like, I just need to and open this thing. They? How are they? Okay. Um, to me, I couldn't tell the difference at all. They are pretty tasty. They're fantastic. Yeah. So. I mean, they don't have as much sugar yep. as a typical gummy bear would have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'm cool with this. Yeah, this they're pretty real. good. It's nice to have some extra options. Uh, exactly. So, so we've covered mm. the trick-or-treating thing. Yep. So you can hand out stickers, pencils, mm. some of these uh, organic treats. But uh, we're also planning a party, and we have yeah. some other stuff here that's uh, a little bit healthier as exactly well. so it's just as simple as seeing what do you have in the house so you can make some homemade candy apples and get some good dark chocolate again there's lots of dairy free refined sugar free chocolate chips that you can buy and melt in a pot and it's fun to dip them and decorate them with your kids there's jelly beans as well that you can get that don't have refined sugar um, another really easy one is just taking bananas slicing them in half dipping them in chocolate and then you get kind of a you know, ghost and you make, faces. You can, that's and kind of fun. You can different, make faces. Yeah, and different stuff. fun things like that. And then you're able to just put them in the freezer and it's like a little banana pop. Okay, how long would these last though in the freezer? These would last in the freezer for a few days. So you just. So a couple make days them, before Halloween is when up. you want to do this. Yep, you could do it three or four days beforehand. Because or you the, could do like a fondue party. Oh, or yeah, found, fondue would be great with different fruits and then you could decorate it all for sure. Uh, okay, so explain the chocolate though that's on those. Yeah. We know that you're not doing any added sugar to any of these right. treats. Right, so this chocolate. Chocolate, actually, again, I got it Community Natural Foods, but there's a lot of places that sell chocolate chips um, that have no refined sugars, no dairy, or you can make your own. It's really easy. Just get some good coconut oil and some cocoa mass, and then you add some honey, add in your chocolate powder or your cocoa powder, and then you just dip it in and freeze it. So it's super simple. This takes about five minutes to make, and it's just fun and different and keeps everyone excited. And then for those that you know, go trick-or-treating, they have a lot of candy. There's places where you can take your candy in and cash it in for money. So, Excuse me? Yes. What, here in Calgary? Yes, some dentists participate in the, the turn in your um, candy <laughs> for <laughs> cash. Yeah. So if it's a good idea wow. to find out if your dentist participates in that as well. Candy for cash. Yeah. And if your dentist, dentist doesn't, shame on him or her. Yeah. So get him on board. Yeah, I think that's a great alternative. I would take money over candy now. <laughs> you, know what now. I, you know what's so great about Halloween, at least we find in our mm -hmm. families, that we do it all together. Yeah. yeah. You know, we, we spend the time. It's so easy to go to the store, buy a box of whatever, and then just say, here, here, here. Yeah. But to look, the creative genius that you've come up with, Amber, is great. A simple little bag, simple little yeah. ideas for treats, a pencil, you know, and the, I mean, and it's little snacky candies that are mm -hmm. healthy. Yeah. You feel 
feel so good handing it out to the kids and they go, hey, not only did I get, uh, you know, candies, I got a bag of goodies. Yep. So now we've gone through Halloween. Mm -hmm. We've eaten our our junk food. What do you suggest <laughs> after Halloween in the following days? Brush your yeah, teeth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brush your teeth most definitely. Um, I also recommend drinking a lot of water always because as we eat more sugar we tend to get more dehydrated dehydrated more quickly um, you know have a lot of good fruits on hand maybe some smoothies they're always great because we tend to crave sugar after we eat it lots of water yes lots of water have some good fruit on hand um, you know maybe get some good quality whether it's um, nuts or avocado or just different types of fats because that will help to keep our blood sugar stable and for the kids um, having lots of fruits on hand maybe granola bars that you can make or trail mixes, just things to kind of wean them off the candy. Maybe, you know, you want to hide it or save some of it for a gingerbread house for um, Christmas. Oh, that's a oh, great that's idea. That's a good idea. And portioning it out as well. So parents can, you know, say, hey, you can have one today and one tomorrow. And well, what we do is we throw it in the freezer there. or the oh, deep freeze idea. and we just let yeah. it sit there until maybe uh, Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. Amber, some great ideas. Thank, Thank you very you. much. This is awesome. She is Amber Romaniak. It's Amber approved. She is a nutritionist. She is a holistic nutritionist with some great crafty ideas. Speaking of which, still to come, getting more crafty, if you can believe it, for Halloween. I know. First, here's what's happening in and around our city. This is trending on Shaw. I'm going to dig into those bananas. Those mm -hmm. bananas look fantastic. Thank you.